Hey, Future and Metro Boomin released We Still Don't Trust You. Future and Metro Boomin's We Still Don't Trust You features ASAP Rocky, The Weeknd, and J. Cole. Future and Metro Boomin's new album We Still Don't Trust You is packed with even more smoke for Drake, but this time from new players. After Kendrick came after Drake on We Don't Trust You, Future and Metro enlisted ASAP Rocky and The Weeknd. ASAP Rocky's show of hands, verse, he seemingly calls for all the dogs a flop and pokes at a shared dating history, and The Weeknd croons through some spicy lyrics that people are interpreting as shots at Drake on, all to myself. ASAP Rocky, show of hands. ASAP Rocky sends some of the album's most direct shots at Drake on, show of hands, when he raps, call up Pluto, Metro, should have put me on the first one, niggas in they feelings over women, what, you heard or something. I smash before you birthed son, Flacco hit it first son, still don trust you, it's always us, never them, heard you dropped your latest shit, funny how it just came and went. ASAP Rocky's bar about how Future and Metro, should have put him on the first one has fans speculating that the duo called in even more artists to send shots at Drake on this new album. When ASAP Rocky says, I smash before you birthed son, Flacco hit it first son, he doesn't name any names, but people are interpreting it to mean that he was with Drake's baby mother Sophie Brussex before the birth of their child Adonis, and there were rumors in 2018 around the same time as the Push T vs Drake beef that support this claim. He goes on to throw shade at Drake's last album, For All the Dogs, before he closes the song with, Fuck keeping this shit hip hop, I wanna see a fuck nigga bleed out. So why does ASAP Rocky have smoke for Drake? Well, fans originally speculated that Drake had dissed Rihanna and Rocky on 2023's, Fear of Heights, when he sang about his past experiences with Rihanna. And on, Another Late Night, Drake even mentioned ASAP Rocky by name, The Weeknd, all to myself. Instead of making his potential subs at Drake sound venomous, The Weeknd does what he does best and sings the disses like an angel on the fluttery, all to myself, which samples the Isley Brothers, Let's Lay Together. On the track, The Weeknd croons, they could never diss my brothers, baby, when they got leaks in the operation, I thank God that I never signed my life away, and we never do the big talk they shooters make in TikToks. The first portion of the verse they could never diss my brothers, baby, is likely a reference to Drake inevitably retaliating against Future and Metro, while the line about being thankful that he never signed his life away could be alluding to the fact that he chose not to sign with OVO back in 2011 and instead helped to write much of Take Care. Fans are also speculating that the line about, shooters making TikToks, is a jab at Drake's mob persona being a farce, as some have pointed to his old bodyguard artist Baca not nice making TikToks. Drake and The Weeknd have a long and complicated relationship that dates back over a decade. On his 2019 song, War, Drake even rapped about how they just had to fix things, alluding to on again off again tensions over the years, and fans are speculating that The Weeknd is taking advantage of this moment to express his persisting frustrations with Drake. There were a few shocking guest appearances on Future and Metro Boomin's We Still Don't Trust You album, but perhaps J. Cole had the most surprising of them all. Thanks for watching.